Reddit versus Wall Street. It's a battle between small time investors and hedge funds, and it's thrown the market into a frenzy. So what exactly is going on? How does the trading app Robinhood end up in hot water and a brick and mortar franchise fit in all of this? ABC 7's JC Navarrete breaks it all down. Steph, it truly is unbelievable. GameStop, a company with the same business model as Blockbuster, yet it's trading at a higher price today than tech giant Apple. Essentially, small-time traders are rallying around struggling companies like GameStop and AMC to help boost those prices at the expense of powerful hedge funds that had shorted the stock, betting against those companies, making huge profits in the long run. So let's go ahead and give you a look at the price rally. The stock has risen nearly 1,700% in recent weeks. Take a look at this graph behind me, and we're going to go ahead and take it full screen here so you can take a closer look at it. We started at $17 a share back in early January. We fast forward to earlier this week when Reddit users started talking about it. The share was $76 a share for GameStop, but the explosion really came here on Wednesday when GameStop shares soared to $350. $50 a share. That's when apps like Robinhood decided to stop the sharing of these apps, and that's where the price dipped down to $193 a share, giving hedge funds a chance to catch up. Essentially, what that did was create anger towards Robinhood and other firms, as well as Wall Street. That's where the outrage comes from, because Wall Street rips off America all the time, and then now when the little guy finally had their own little chance to get in on the action. Uh, the big firms shut it down. Now today, the Game stock, uh, uh, GameStop stock, excuse me, rallied once again, closing at 325 for the afternoon here for a share. Now lawmakers are now announcing plans to hold a hearing on the current state of the stock market. Uh, Steph, again, a lot to make out here. It is the end of the week, so we'll have to see how this shares open up on Monday. And JC, you spoke to financial advisors here in El Paso. So what do they make of the situation? Well, in short, they told me that uh, one advisor tells me that he sees this as a game of Russian roulette between the retail investors and those hedge funds. Essentially, they're in a staring contest looking at who's going to blink first. One thing that is worth noting, though, trends like these, they are exciting, but they're also extremely risky. It will be, again, interesting to see what the price of this stock will be come Monday morning when trading opens once again. Definitely Steph. will be. We'll be watching it. All right, JC, thanks.